Welcome to the Management Monsters team. Let's introduce you to the Management Monsters team of USF. Monica, Dominica, Christian, Acraft, Hunter, and Dahlia. Background on Monsters, Inc. Monsters, Inc. is known to generate power for the Monsters community, Monstropolis. The company uses power from human children's screams to receive electricity. However, the monsters are afraid of the children because they see them as toxic. When a human enters the monsters world, there is a problem created for the Monsters, Inc. company. These problems lead to a new change in managing the company. Our audience. Our target audience consists of managers and prospective managers. Our goal is to demonstrate the importance of management concepts we will be discussing in a company's performance. The characters, Henry J. Waternoos, Randall Boggs, Mike Wazowski, Boo Sullivan, known as Sully. Henry J. Waternoos, original CEO of Monsters, Inc. He is an effective manager before the energy crisis. He becomes shady, dishonest, and deceptive. Main concepts, strategic vision, cross-functional team, distributive justice, controlling, and technology. Randall Boggs, portrayed as sneaky and a shady monster with a short temper. Main concepts, ethical lapse, ethnocentricity, and ethical dilemma. Mike Wazowski, devoted to his profession, creative brain behind scaring techniques, entrepreneurial mindset, main concepts, managing entrepreneurially, strategic management, implementation, and the leadership process. Boo, curious and naive and adventurous, changes Mike and Sully's perspective of their jobs and human children, inspires an innovative management approach, main concepts, ethical dilemma, moral rights approach, and cultural context. James P. Sullivan, the ideal employee status, strong work ethic and dedication, a team player, he's confident, tenacious, tough, and intimidated in leader as Henry J. Waternoos describes him. Main concepts, moral rights approach, entrepreneurially, role, and self-efficacy. Let's go in depth with the episodes. We're going to take an insight on episode one. Episode one, managers and management. From the beginning, the movie presents each character and their roles and duties. The writers of this TV show exquisitely show the role of each persona throughout the movie. Our group thinks this animation fantasy film was an excellent choice because it educates the viewers about numerous managerial concept rights out of the actual movie script. The plot of the movie begins by demonstrating the roles of manager and management. In order to make a strong organization, there needs to be someone that manages and oversees the performance of the business. Beginning by a monster named Henry J. Waternoos, who is depicted as the CEO of Monsters, Inc., makes sure his business is on the right track. Henry J. Waternoos displays a mon and monitors a role while managing the Respect Corporation. His job is to analyze reports in order to gather data on both current development and progress of his institution. Being an outstanding manager, he used distributive justice justice techniques to set up an award to the leading screen leader more than other workers by allowing his employee monsters to be in company advertisements. Although a lot of has been dedicated to the process and the CEO's vision and award system, problems occurred in his company. Therefore, he made the decision that he shall not proceed with this idea based on the prospect theory which describes the uncertainty of a profitable investment such as his advertisement idea. This changes when Boo, a human that accidentally came into the monster world caused by Randall Boggs, 
Although she is a child, through confidence she presents herself as a tough individual because she doesn't associate all monsters to evil creatures. The first time she saw James P. Sullivan, she thought that he was a large teddy. She expressed herself as a playful and a friendly child that likes to explore places. Her personality influenced characters such as James P. Sullivan and Mike Wazowski, who happened to be one of the top employees of this corporation. However, Randall Boggs does not change his perspective of viewing humans. He only thinks about his job. He seeks for power, distance, and wanted to be the best of all monsters that scare a child showing competition within the workplace. He tries to find ways to help his company, but does not show any managerial ethics. He was a competitor to other monsters and attempts to kidnap the child to make a new revolution to the company. His idea was ruined by Mike Wazowski and James P. Sullivan, two ethical employees that didn't want to violate the corporation's policies, which could cause it to go bankrupt. They used strategic objective to accomplish their jobs. They believed to use the moral rights approach after getting the chance to be with Boo. Boo gives a proximity decision making about getting her back to her home to the human world. They even made a new discovery about the their experience with Boo innovating the company. Because of this, these characters display how they take part in influence management in the business. Each character has played a role in managing their way of the factory. Management is not only based on one manager, but instead it is based on the entire workforce pulling strings together to reach a common goal. Let's go and inside with episode four. Episode four was all about change and innovation. Monster Inc. was also an excellent choice because the plot of the movie demonstrates the changes in organization many face and different managerial concepts that help an organization meet its goals. Management challenges happen when the company is facing challenges. A significant challenge that Warner News faced was the decrease of children who were scared of monsters. Also, another big problem that the whole company Monster Inc. must face is caused by Randall's accidentally letting Boo in the, com in the company. However, Water News thinks it is better to kidnap the human children and forcefully extract their screens from a machine. The machine is the solution to the problem that children are no longer as scared. This method was unethical and Water News is arrested by the CDA. Sullivan talks to Mike about returning Boo to the human world. They both become friends with Boo. They are comfortable with uncertainty avoidance of a human in monster's world by tolerating the potential good that can come from having Boo. Sullivan eventually discovers that Boo's laughter can create energy. Sullivan then learns that laughter can generate energy even more than screams. Once this innovative idea was tested and proved to be efficient, Monsters Inc. revolutionizes its code of conduct and becomes even more profitable and enjoyable for both the management team and the workforce. Why is management important? Management is the process of assembling and using sets of resources in a goal-directed manner to accomplish tasks in an organization. Not many people are aware of how in-depth the concept of management goes. There are many subsections of knowledge and management theories that often go untouched by actual managers. Management is crucial to the success of an organization and it is important for every manager to never stop learning. Managers should be able to balance control and friendliness to get the most productivity out of their employees. The world will always benefit from, from quality management. Individual Reflections on Course Project Monica Christian Hunter
Dahlia. Acraft. Dominica. Recommendations to future students. This class is a lot, especially if you're taking it over the summer semester. Therefore, it is imperative that you have an established plan made with your team. One of the things that helped us a lot was having soft deadlines for the assignments due at the end of the week. Even though the assignments are due on Sunday, if everyone has their parts due internally by Friday, you have plenty of time to make edits, ask questions, and not be in a time crunch. We highly suggest using an app like GroupMe for everyday communication. This way, anyone can ask a question at any time and at least one person will be checking their phone to provide an answer. Google's online office tools are also a lifesaver when it comes to a group work. The entire group can be working on a presentation or paper simultaneously and then anyone can export the assignment and turn it in. We did a lot of our planning and outline on Google Docs. It is also important to make sure you are familiar with APA style and guidelines too, so you do not lose unnecessary points on writing logs. The professor and TA are really great with response times and providing materials to complete the assignment as well, so don't be afraid to ask them for help. References And thank you for listening to our Management Monsters team.